Gaming and musical comedy, yeah, buddy, yeah. Click here to subscribe. Thank you if you already did. Yeah, buddy. Whoa. All right, so we're doing that live, uh, the live intro again today. And today is episode... The, wait, this is WWE Supercard. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And this is episode one, three, three. <laughs> All right, so uh, we are currently on the sh the Gold Dust. We're not on Stardust. Um, and uh, we found out today, actually yesterday or whatever, um, that John Cena is out for a while, and uh, because of a soldier rotator cuff surgery, um, he's gonna be out for WrestleMania. I'm pretty sure about that. Um, and also, Sasha Banks is apparently injured, too. Like, everybody's injured. That's why I made a tweet of, of a comedy. It's like, I, I was going to be a WWE superstar, but then I got injured just by writing this. Um, whatever. Um, so, anyway, this King of the Ring is insane. I'm 8-15. and 15. There's 11 people. In it. There's just no way I'm not, I'm not going to do any well. Uh, but Director of DC is uh, saying a bunch of stuff about titles, theories, and uh, and Obadiam. And uh, they're talking about road, road to Glory, and everybody's a noble one. And nobody own, uh, a nobody own. <laughs> Derp. But anyway, uh, we are not at the bottom. All right, so uh, that is nice. Batista Bites and Prince Pretty. But Prince Pretty is a person, because uh, they, they did talk. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, so, and down here in this cool King of the Ring, I'm losing. I do have to show you this. Uh, we'll go to the schedule. Now, you know you know that somebody's out to get you when you're in game 23 and you see that they're quad boosting you. They must not like me that much, but that's okay. I don't care. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, in this one we got, uh, we won against Eggthin, and uh, we we were uh, Jim Banna's first loss. I know that. Uh, Big Jim's first loss, so that was, I mean, you know, he's awesome and uh, all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, anyway. All right, so let us go to... This. This is what we're here for. The uh, epic -y stuff. Um, I am at the beginning of epic. Oh, I've reached the card limit. No wonder I can't just do that. I forgot. <laughs> but um, I did a little stream earlier on Camcord. And I think I figured out my echoing problems. Um, and I, it should, uh, I might have already done a, another test on stuff. Um, but uh, it's, it's almost 10 o'clock. I just finished watching Heroes. Uh, I'm not going to do any more uh, commentary and theories on Heroes. I'm pretty sure it's done after this uh, two more weeks. I'm just really glad that we got to have some more story. Um, I know that we're going to find out something that happened to Noah um, somewhere in there because it only makes sense, you know, um, Noah Bennett, but for those of you that watched it. Uh, but it was it was cool. And they showed the solar flare that's going to blow up the world. Well, actually, that's going to blow up North America first. And, uh, or take out North America. And, uh, it's, it's on the way. So, it'll be interesting to see how it all comes to play. Um, you know. But technically, you know, save the cheerleader, save the world. And it, I guess it wasn't really about her. It was all about the kids. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for those of you that watch that show, that it, it all makes sense. But anyway, all right, so uh, let us go do this road to the glory. Glory to the road. All right, so we're going to get Sharon. Okay, uh, we didn't lose any yet, but we almost lost one with somebody had a uh, throwback survivor card. And I was like, wow, that almost beat my, uh, was I think it was power or something, and it almost beat my guy. Uh, so that was interesting. So now we're going to start getting some... Um, Better card selection as I take a sip from the poop cup. I haven't used any of the uh, any of my uh, booster guys here, my managers, just because I don't want to use them until I lose my first match, um, first uh, bout, not even bout, yeah, yeah, first match because they're rounds. <laughs> but um, my voice is starting to get a little tired, so I don't know how long I'll do this episode. Um, I might. Uh, I might try to go all the way through Epic, but I just don't see that happening uh, because it's already like 10 o'clock now. And, uh, you know, but I my goal was to get to Epic today, and uh, I did. So that was good because I tried to play as much as possible. Um, I didn't have time during the school day. You know, I played a little bit, but uh, I did most of it after school and after Drama Club and all that stuff. But, excuse me. So, yeah. 
how are you doing on your road to glory? It is obvious that I need that rock because um, I'm just getting pounded in this uh, this King of the Ring, and uh, I just need to get better cards. And I even started this King of the Ring with my Undertaker not trained. I, I, and now he's fully trained. Um, I did play some, uh, what you call it, some exhibitions and stuff. And I did very well. Um, which I was, I think, having the single rock and the uh, the the just uh, survivor Sasha Banks in there. Um, I think that's helped a bunch of dumbing it down a little bit. Like sometimes I'll face one uh, big... PCC survivor or uh, another undertaker or something uh, pro and uh, you know I might lose there because of the matchup or whatever but it, if it's toughness I don't lose because it's pretty good it's pretty good all right so uh, I got that going on so that was a nice little win all right so we're going to do this we're gonna get 10 picks which is nice all right so maybe we will get a survivor oh, wow we're getting our truth all over the place maybe we'll get a survivor Maybe, maybe not. I don't even know. I haven't pulled anything really great from this yet. Um, I pulled an ultra rare speed, I, I think. Speed! Alright, so there's a, there's a our truth sandwich with a charisma in the middle. <laughs> Alright, so let's do some more. Are you ready for some more? Superman Punch! Alright. And uh, I'm looking forward to it being the weekend. The first week back after vacation, it feels like it is the longest thing of all time. And I am tired, and uh, I did not nap today, so that's also why I'm tired. But uh, I just want to uh, to to have a nice weekend and uh, all that good stuff, you know what I mean? You know, I would like to have a nice weekend. But uh, yeah, so let's see here. We are just whoopitating away, and that is good. And that's, uh, some people have asked yesterday in the comments, um, if, you know, you're, you're only a super rare double plus and you have trouble on this, uh, this road to glory, you should try, uh, first off, try plus threes instead of plus fives. Um, and the next thing is, and something that you can do if you're in a lower tier like that, you can, uh, play the exhibition a bunch and, uh, level up your cards and try to get as many, uh, uh pros as possible in the rare pros or above. Uh, because if you're in super rare double plus, you don't have a whole lot of stuff. Um, so, but if you have pro rares across all four levels, are the that being your minimum card, you're gonna find that you'll have a lot more success. All right. One of the things we talk about in Roads of Glory is a balanced deck. Okay. Now, my deck is mostly balanced because I have uh, twelve superstar legendary pros, and then I have three event. Legendary, two event legendary pros, <laughs> and uh, then I, I must have a 13th one in there uh, for the uh, uh, legendary pros. And then I have the survivor pro. Now the survivor pro, that uh, event pro, is a it's what makes the deck unbalanced. But only one doesn't really do a whole lot. All right? It does boost up the tier. Um, and I'm actually in Survivor Plus in uh, Exhibition now, um, which is pretty cool. You know what I mean? So that is going to be helpful. I'm seeing a lot of people that we see uh, all the time. But, um, you know, it, it helped me to uh, wait for that card. Um, I know that once we get to Monday, we are going to hopefully we should have some sort of team event. Um, I wouldn't mind it being RTG um, just to see how it actually works. Uh, my guess is, well, I mean, it it's an RTG to an RTG, so I don't know, you know, if that's what they decide. Um, PCC is still fine for me, but it's it's going to be PCC then PCC, so who knows? I mean, I don't know. Uh, they've done that before, that PCC then PCC, um, or something like that with a team event. So who knows what they're going to do, you know? Ooh, there's energy, so give me a survivor card. Come on, give me something. Oh, title match! We wanted that. Uh, but anyway, what are you going to do? I'm going to get some more points. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Thank you. I uh, thank you so much. I uh, thank you. I uh, thank you so much. All right, but anyways. um, Yeah. And uh, after this, I'm going to be making a Clash of Clans video to see how many walls uh, got to level 7. And uh, that sort of thing. And uh, I know they took maybe my one 
uh, gem barracks boosts. But, um, yeah. So, there we go. So, what are your plans for this weekend? I am probably going to visit Mom on Sunday. And uh, I've got school stuff to get done. Um, lots of stuff to print out and uh, some grades to input in from this week. You know, I was mostly caught up uh, over the vacation. And now I have to uh, do some more. You know, but uh, I didn't take a nap yesterday and I didn't take a nap today. So I'm pretty happy about that stuff. Um, no, wait, I did take a nap yesterday. Two days ago, I didn't take a nap. Or maybe, did I take a nap yesterday? I don't remember. I am really tired because I didn't take a nap. <laughs> but anyways, enough about napping. Let's talk about this yapping. All right, so we got Dolph Ziggler versus Triple H. Triple H is no match for the Dolph. Another Triple H. He likes that triple. He likes that H. So Bray Wyatt is really, really charismatic there. All right, so there's my Undertaker. Look at this. 3202 because I used a, a little bit of these guys. So because uh, the green guys, um, I was just uh, needing to get rid of enhancements. And rather than train up people, because I'm running out of things to train up, um, you saw that in the uh, the ring domination that I pretty much got everything I needed trained. Um, so I'm working on the like rares right now because I don't really have anything else. But uh, some people uh, in the comments yesterday as well asked, uh, I think it was Tim actually, uh, Fireproof, um, when do we think that the uh, the Fusion Chamber for Season 2 will come into play? Um, if last season is any indication, it should be in about three weeks, all right? Right at the, uh, right after the Rumble, um, somewhere right around there, right before the Super Bowl to give it some, uh, some extra stuff, you know what I mean? And, uh, so I'm, I'm excited for it. It'll change a lot of stuff. And, uh, like I said, I'm hoping that it, uh, it goes to points-based, uh, because I have so many legendaries that I could just throw in right away. And uh, that sort of thing. And that would make me so happy. All right. So let's see here. Um, we're, we're doing very well on pulling title matches, by the way. Um, I think I've gotten 15 now, I want to say. Uh, I've gotten a bunch. Um, and, I, and that may not be 15. It just feels like 15. Um, <laughs> you know. But, I mean, I'm, I'm in the 40s. And uh, I'm already in the epic card. I only bought the 75 uh, title matches for 600 credits because, you know, if you play a lot, the, like a, a lot of bouts every hour or so, if you can do that, you don't really need um, to, uh, you know, worry about time. My goal is to get this uh, by Saturday, uh, Saturday during the day, uh, so I can just enjoy Sunday, you know, and uh, this I don't want to spend all my days and all my times you know, trying to grind those plus twos at the end that I need. Um, the plus, I can get plus sixes um, probably midway through uh, the event card. You know, and I might be able to get, I, you know, it's close. But I think I got to, I got to almost to, what was it, 180 last time? I don't remember on that Undertaker. It was a lot. But, uh, you know, maybe I'm wrong. It was definitely 160 I got through plus sixes. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, that's my plan. Um, I'd love to hear about yours. Uh, also, um, we hadn't seen this in a couple of days. And I want you to know, like, if you ever want to ask the common tunity a question, uh, in the comment you write C-O-M, com, and then you can put a colon or whatever, just com. And then you should comment on that comment, too. All right? Somebody asked about something, and I, I commented uh, as well on it. So, uh, you know, and there's there, other people do it when uh, they ask questions, but don't put com on it. Um, and you can do that with any question here. Also, coming up tomorrow in Super Saturday, I'm going to announce the categories, quote unquote, for the Common Tunity Awards, uh, which will be next uh, a week from Saturday. And uh, I just want uh, some silly... Uh, Nominations or whatever. I'm going to one of them for me is going to be fan mail of the year, uh, and there there's some real hardcore fan mails that uh, I don't even know how I can even uh, how I can even do it, you know. And uh, I'm the one that decides everything, so it's like there's so many good great fan mails, pictures, uh, the frame back there, the, the obviously the new day and the the unicorn and the up up down down shirt, 
and uh, you know the the share coke with Biggie dude. So anybody that's sent me any fan mail, you guys are the best. And if you want to, uh, the the everything is in the description below. It's uh, Biggie dude, uh, PO Box twenty nine, Yorkville, New York one three four nine five. Okay. And uh, I read the, the letters on camera on Super Saturday. And, uh, you know, maybe you'll want to send me something sometime. And uh, that's always a nice, nice, nice thing. Because it makes me feel like, you know, if you send, if you like these videos enough to want to send a letter so I can write it to you or read it to you and read it to the common community and everybody, uh, that means that I feel like I'm doing my job well and uh, all that good stuff. Oh, another title match. We're titling everywhere. But that's 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 what's happening. So what's going to happen is this: I'm going to play this, and then uh, we'll probably just talk for another minute. Um, I don't know. We're already at 16 minutes or so, so that's all right. I don't know if I'm going to uh, make this another extra longer. I'm probably going to just leave it at this. Um, but I might record some more a little bit later. But that will be for Super Saturday's beginnings, um, so or something like that. Or the, the footage in the beginning of it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have fun. You know, tomorrow is Friday. And it's going to be nice. And I am going to also uh, get to get paid. Which is nice. You know, when you teach at school and then they give you monies to do stuff. That's pretty nice. I like it. Paydays. Hashtag payday. Yeah. All right. So let us see uh, what else we're doing. Let's just do that. Let's do that. That sounds good. All right. So, um, one thing I was uh, really happy about uh, earlier today is um, I was catching a stream on uh, Camcord uh, for Clash Royale. And uh, for those of you that are Clash of Clans fans, um, I was watching a stream of Galadon um, because uh, what he was doing is uh, it was like a, a charity thing. Um, and it's also uh, he was teaching his mom how to play uh this game and uh if you if for those of you that don't know uh who Galadon is he is uh he's also not as young as other people you know kind of like me and i thought that was really cool that he's sharing the game and his love of gaming with his his mom um and it just made me think of you know how cool it was that i got to share my love of games and this game with dad um and that dad you know did some really great stuff and, uh, you know, with this today, uh, you know, Thursday, uh, was the one month anniversary of his passing. And, uh, I, I got sad just a couple of times. I had a really good day. I got a lot done. And, um, most of the times I thought about dad, they were really, really awesome. Great, great remember, remembrances, rememberies. <laughs> and, uh, you know, yeah, I miss him, but he's. If I ever really truly miss him, I can I can just go to his channel and watch one of his videos and just remember how much he loved this life, you know, every day. Even the the days that were bad and he wasn't doing so well, you know, he he had a lot of love and life and stuff up right up to the end, you know. You know, I'm I'm very lucky and he's really lucky to have had that too, you know. Like I remember uh, October fifteenth when uh, he had, uh, you know, basically collapsed in the when he was being transferred to the ooh nanny nanny uh, nanny nanny Dolph nanny Dolph uh, when he was being transferred to the the extended care facility. Hey, nice shoulder. Oops, it's hurt. Okay, sorry. Just like nanny nanny. No. Oh. That was, that was not another Dolph. But, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, we basically thought that... I really thought at that time that um, when it said the Pray for Biggie Dad thing... It's starting to get a little slow, so I'm just going to start it uh, over here again. Um, I really thought that maybe uh, he would never... I would never talk to my dad again. And I really got, you know, almost two... Not just good months. Two great months. Um, yeah, he was, he was kind of tired at the end. Um, but... He still played. I remember he played every day. He had so much fun. So um, that's that's. I just wanted to share that with you. That uh, you know, yes, I'm still heartbroken, but I'm really in an okay place um, with it because 
I don't have regrets. I, other than selfish regrets, like I wish that I had gotten to spend just even more time with him. I wish he was still here. You know, things that I have no control over. Um, I don't wish that I could have spent more time with him in the past because I really talked to him almost every day and pretty much every day. And I was in some of his videos. He was in some of my videos. Um, I inspired him to help the, to, to make videos. And uh, it was just, it was just really, it's really cool, man. So uh, I just hope that you, I mean, if you are worried about the relationship with a, a, a father or a mother or somebody, and uh, you can think of a way that might bring you together, um, don't be afraid to, to come up with it. You know, you don't have to say, hey, I got you this so we can be close together. And he's not interested in it at all. Yeah, that that's not going to help, you know, or she, you know. Um, so it's a... Uh, it's just one of those things. Like, I would never talk my mom into making gaming videos because there's no way she'd want to play. She's not into wrestling or, like, you know, she doesn't play games, you know. She she just likes to read <laughs> and, uh, you know, do stuff around the house and go shopping and do all that cool stuff. She's awesome, you know, but she, she wouldn't want to make games, and I'm, I'm not ever going to force her um, or even attempt to. <laughs> but anyway... I hope that you understand what I'm talking about because I'm talking from the heart and uh, you know and you saw me smile the whole time it's not a lie it's not fake uh, nothing about me in these videos is fake uh, it's just uh, they're almost like gaming vlogs of like uh, just how I am and who I am and what I want to do with life and and just help people uh, maximize their awesomeness and you know that's why like when people ask me in the chat uh, you know a couple of people asked me in the chat, in the, the comments below yesterday to, uh, in the last couple of days to check out their videos. And, uh, two of them were German people and I don't understand it very well, but I left a comment on the video cause they looked great. And so I subscribed to him, you know, and, and I know that they were pretty happy about it. So, uh, this is either the end or it's a segue. So, end segue, end segue. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Bacon. Wait, John, what? Rockstar, knock you out! Rockstar, knock you out! <laughs>